ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Good evening, mamas and mamas, y'all and olds, with your ZNS Total Sports. The final day of the Alpha Aquatic Swim Meet took place yesterday at the Betty Kelly Kenning Aquatic Center. The event serving as the final qualifying event for persons trying to make Team Bahamas' squad for the Carifta Swimming Championships next month in Barbados. And the performances certainly did not disappoint. Highlighting yesterday's finals was a record-breaking performance from young Marvin Johnson Jr., the 13-year-old swimmer breaking the national record in the boys' 400-meter freestyle in a time of 4 minutes, 33.45 seconds, shattering the previous record set by Nigel Forbes last year. Going in, I knew I was with the bigger boys, so I knew they would pace me in the beginning, but they would um, eventually go away. So my coach gave me the strategy to go out hard in the first 300, and just hold them as close as possible. And because I have the heart and the stamina and the training, and I have been working hard, that I should be able, with all the adrenaline, to just come home hard. And I did, beating the record by two, two and a half seconds. So how does it feel? Uh, <laughs> I was tired at first, but then after, after all the pain and sorrow went away, it was a good feeling. Um, heading into Grifter, I think we have a good chance this year. Um, we have a lot of senior age group. Um, our 11, 12s, and 13, 14s, they're there, but I think our main age groups would be our 15 and overs. Four years, it's been the pressure on us. Saying that we've been champions, we lost once, but we came right back and we did it again. So it's a lot of pressure going into Carifta each year. I think going as a team, we just got to stay strong together and have good team spirit, and we'll go in and work hard, and we'll win again. Of course, there's added pressure, but I think Team Bahamas as a whole can deal with the pressure very well and we'll still be able to perform at a high level and win. Swimming Federation has revealed that they will officially name the team and coach with what next 24 hours. So stay tuned with Sadness Whole Sports to stay updated on that information. In basketball news, well, Game 3 of the NPWBA Championship Series took place last night at the Donald Davis Gymnasium between the Foxies, Angels, and the Bees Trucking Destroyers, with both teams seeking to try and go up 2-1 in the series. This one would be all Bees Trucking, though, from start to finish, as the outside shooting that helped the younger Angels steal Game 2 would be non-existent in this one, and the Destroyers would use their size advantage in the paint to walk out with the 52-43 win to go up 2-1. Um, I think today we settled the ball down um, a lot more. We didn't go as fast, um, play to their pace, and we just stick to our um, basketball fundamentals. Uh, I still felt like I didn't play to the best of my ability, but I guess I was a little bit more focused. I knew that we had to come out here in the fourth quarter to play. They are a good fourth quarter team, so I know that we had to get stops and just had to come out here and play, put the ball in the basket. I know we can't lay down. We can't expect to just come out here and play a game of basketball and expect for them to lay down and let us win the game. We have to come out here, work hard, play smart, basketball, we have to get stops on the defensive end and limit our turnovers. Well, it was definitely a tough game. We had to execute a bit more on defense and then the offense would come. We also had to slow it down and just run our plays and play as a team, you know. Some um, our shots was when falling. We just have to stay composed and work together. Uh, yeah, obviously your back is against the wall for Tuesday. Um, we don't go home. Um, how do you how do you guys plan to come out? Well, we plan to come out and play as a team. You know, nothing is too hard for God. We just have to trust in God. This is just a, a testing point. We have to keep pushing, have, have faith in Him, and you know, just play as a team, work together, execute on defense, and our offense will will come. Well, the Long Island Sailing Association set to hold its Switch Up Regatta next weekend, which serves as its annual fundraiser for its major regatta held in June. Organizers and skippers gathered yesterday at the Montague Foreshore to see which boats they would draw. We caught up with one of the organizers and several of the skippers who shared their excited anticipation for the event. We have the top 11 C-class boats in the country and the three top B-class in the country. Um, they're going to be sailing here next week. We have a fundraiser for the Long Island Regatta, and the sailors usually come together and give us give us help to raise funds. You already used to your boat, so it, um, it'd be a little different. But um, uh, on the past and our past uh, three regattas we had, um, 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 all those who sail the really case still came up front. So I don't know if it's the boat or the captain, but the really case still be up in the top three anyway. It's a whole lot to me because of helping Long Island folks out with their fundraising. So we're going to make sure San Sally be there in top shape and give 
some captain, uh, most of the captains out there. Good opportunity to sail a very, very fast boat. This is one regatta that you get to test your skills. Um, this way you separate the men from the boys. Um, you, you, you bring out the best, your best skill um, because you don't actually sail your boat that you mostly uh, uh, common with, but um, you get the experience of the boats that, that you tend to have to do different adjustments with to, to get it sailing. So that really brings the skills out out in you as a captain. But I'm um, um, we're looking for some good fun in this. Uh, this King and Ice was out before, but we had some difficulties that we wasn't able to sail. But definitely we're going to be here this time and, and participating, and definitely that the Crown will be going back to Auckland. I'm not sure yet. We're just going to go and pick the numbers for the different boats we're going to be sailing. I think in the B class, they have uh, four boats where myself, Lundy, Mark and Stefan, I understand we're supposed to be switching our boats and we're going to see who's going to be, have, have bragging rights, uh, who's going to come out with the most points in the four different boats we sail. And that's been a look at sports on this Sunday. A quick check on weather is up next. ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center.